Good day viewers, Walter here. It rained all day yesterday, so out there where I've been working on my deck, it's kind of a muddy mess. So I've waited till later in the afternoon. It's probably, I don't know, it must be 1.15 or so in the afternoon. And I'm gonna go out here and tinker around with the deck a little bit, try to see if the dirt ain't too muddy to start digging my holes. I can at least mark off where they need to be. And um, while I'm sitting here putting on my shoes, which by the way, are some of the radiest looking things you've ever seen. But I imagine a lot of people are like me. You got an old ratty pair of teach tennis shoes. We used to call them tennis shoes when I was a kid. And don't call them tennis shoes no more. They got to be sneakers or something else. I don't know what you call them. Shoes we used to run, run in were just black canvas Tennis shoes, we called them. They had a little white spot on them. Seemed like they had a white circle on the side. And they had flat rubber soles. I mean, you could run 90 miles an hour and stop on the dime. And they were lightweight. They weren't got these thick old things you wear on your feet now. But anybody with any common sense has got some old ratty shoes they use out here when they're working in the yard. You know, when you get ready to go to the store or somewhere and you want to slip on your good sneakers, well, they'll still be clean. If I wanted to wear these to the store, I'd look pretty ratty, but I don't care what they look like out here in the yard. So that's what I'm doing, putting on my ratty old sneakers. And going to... My ratty old tennis shoes and go out here and at least think about doing something. I thought of a story I wanted to tell you, and I'm gonna do it right now. In fact, I might it might preclude, depending on how long the story comes out, it might interfere with my other video I was gonna make out here digging in the deck. Maybe we can do a time lapse. But one of my viewers was talking about I think he mentioned orange trees or grape tree, grapefruit trees or something. And it brought a story to mind. Now, when I was a kid, I had a younger brother who was 13 months older than me, and we did everything together, including fight. Didn't get along 90% of the time. He's no longer with us, but uh, we always managed to get in some kind of trouble. And uh, I, I kind of knew when to quit and not get in as much trouble as he did, but he was kind of the black sheep of the family, you might say. Uh, he, for anybody getting in trouble, he knew how to do it. And one example was, we, well, we both got in trouble, actually, but we got it. You usually get yourself out of that trouble if you got any intelligence whatsoever. I know, I'm rambling. I'm, I, I digress. I'm thinking of a time back in Florida. We lived, I guess I was maybe fifth grade, sixth grade, somewhere we were big enough to know right from wrong and do better. We're coming down Cypress Avenue in O'Galley, Florida. And at that time, it was just a remote street between blocks of uh, neighborhoods where uh, houses and everything were built. But there was a, quite a long strip down through there had a swampy area and uh, some orange groves and places. So there was a good two or three block area you had to walk down to get to where the next set of houses were. Over there on the other side of the road on Cypress Avenue was a um, orange grove, had some grapefruit trees in it, beautiful grapefruit trees. I mean, they stood as big as them green trees you see out there in my front yard, them by the driveway. Well, we're walking home, and it's against the law to steal people's oranges and grapefruits, but it's not uncommon for somebody to reach over the fence and snatch one and be gone with it. Well, we see these big, beautiful grapefruits hanging up there on the tree, and Bobby says, I want some grapefruits. And I said, you know, that's a pretty good idea, looking around from side to side. Nobody seems to be looking. Let's go over there and grab a couple. So we go over there and he, I'm standing under the tree and he has actually climbed up in the tree because the limbs are pretty high. So he's about 10 feet off the ground up in the tree and he's throwing these grapefruits down to me. 
Well, I've got three or four of them piled up on the ground. I said, throw me a couple more. And he threw them down and I looked up the street and here come this man. I guess he was, oh, he might have been, well, he seemed old to me. He could have been 40, 50, 60, or 70. I don't know, he was an old guy compared to our young behinds. I said, come down quick, there's somebody coming. What it was, the man lived up there who owned them gar uh, grapefruit trees or that must have been his property over there or else he was in charge of looking out for him. But he was coming to catch us and he was coming at a dead run. And for, for an old guy, he was moving pretty good. Come down quick, we got to go. And I commenced to run and back towards the road. We were 50 yards off the road there and got on Cypress Avenue and I'm running and I look behind me and he has just got out of the tree and he's running along. I got a good 50, 75 yard lead on him. I'm going and uh, I look behind me. <laughs> I left my grapefruits laying on the ground. Uh, Bobby wasn't gonna leave his grapefruits. He had an armload of grapefruits and he's running like crazy and the guy's gaining on him. So you gotta picture this in your mind. I'm looking back to see what's going on and my brother is throwing grapefruits at the guy chasing him. He chucks it over his shoulder, try to hit him with it. The guy has to dodge a little bit. So that, he got kind of a lead on the guy. <laughs> and he's throwing another grapefruit at him and I don't know whether to stop and laugh or tell him to drop the t grapefruits and come on. Finally, the guy was about to catch him, so he unloaded all them grapefruits towards the guy that was chasing and put it, put it in overdrive and outran the old man. But I don't know, that story came to mind when somebody mentioned there something in one of my comments the other day. And there was just little examples like that where I would... <laughs> I had enough common sense that it was time to leave and he wanted to take the grapefruits with him. I'll give you one more quick example. Uh, no, that's good enough for now. I don't want to draw this story out too much. Anyway, that's uh, my story of the grapefruit bandits. Let's go out here and work on my deck area a little bit. I got to move my expedition. And, uh... Well, I came down to check the mail. Not a thing in there, I guess my wife already picked it up before she went out. Found another whiskey bottle. Every time I come down here, there's one out there. Now, that ain't the dinkiest little whiskey bottle you ever saw. Crown Royal. I guess that's one good swig.